But uh, are you ready? I'm very ready. Is the ready. camera ready? I think so. Am I ready? I don't know about that one. Damn I'm it. never ready. What is up you guys welcome back and welcome if you are new in today's video we're going to be upgrading the door speakers on the RAV4 now this isn't too difficult of a job but there are going to be a couple tools that you're going to need stay tuned and find out and now a couple things that you guys are going to need are going to be like a drill and drill bits because these speakers the old ones are riveted in so it is something that you're going to need you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a panel removal tool and a couple things that we are going to use as you can see here we have adapters for the speakers and a wiring harness so to make this plug and play so as you guys can see we are using scar audio t65 six and a half inch speakers now this is going to be a great upgrade especially since i am planning on amplifying the system with its separate amp as you can see here these are the old ones these are just some you know basic car speakers that come with it maybe max 15 watts 20 watts and we are going to these bad boys right here some scar audios heck yeah and those are what the t65 yep t65 yeah. all right guys so now we're getting to the disassembly part of the car now a couple things that you are gonna do is you're gonna get your pry tool first open this handle and you're gonna expose a Phillips head screw that is right there the next thing you're gonna do is this trim piece here that runs along the door here that's gonna come off too same thing just get your pry tool in there and this is held in with clips you're just gonna give it a nice little yank just like that and it pops right off put those somewhere safe to the side and then we're gonna have that Phillips head screw here as I said all right just like that and then you're gonna have two Phillips head screws here and here they're gonna be silver ones that you can see no, don't take these ones off here that's what hold the trim but it's gonna be in the hole here and here not sure how well you can see that because it is a little dark so Jesse found a screwdriver um, this hole, the screw that's in this hole is a little bit deeper. My multi-tool couldn't reach, but it, al it was almost there. Almost. Almost. Is that I, what you say? I like, I like living in the almost land. Why you gotta expose me like this, Jesse, on the internet? <laughs> so with the, the three screws out, next thing you're gonna do is down here on the bottom left part of the RAVs, there is gonna be a little bit of a lip where the door panel hangs off a little bit. Now it's good to yank on it to disengage the clips. So you're just gonna give it a firm yank, and as you can see, the door is pretty much all the way out with just one good pull. So now with the door panel off and um, loose like this, uh, one thing I like to do with the RAVs, I don't like disconnecting these cables. I kinda just pop the handle out like that, just to make it a little bit easier on myself, and then I'm gonna disconnect these two uh, cables right here. They're gonna come out, and it's just push tabs and then they click out and then just to show you guys how this handle came out it just has two little um nuggets here ridges i don't know what to call them they go in here and then this front part just kind of slides in like so like that and like i said you're just going to yank it out and it's going to um, angle out just like that Okay, and now we're getting to the actual speaker part. So as you can see here, it is held in with rivets. That's very easy to remove. We're just gonna drill those out real quick. But before that, I am gonna take, I am gonna disconnect the harness that is there. All right guys, so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a drill bit and drill these rivets off. Rivets are a little bit uh, tricky for me, usually figuring out the sizing. I just kind of get a, a big enough one that goes over the hole and I just kind of go for it. So what is next? Eh, you know, fighting with these rivets for half an hour and then popping the speaker off finally. You know, Jesse, it's supposed to be an easy install. We always say that, but... But what happens? I don't know, like, ow. Easy turns into hard. Yeah, it does, unfortunately. We ha that's why we haven't said super simple in a while, you guys. Yeah, because... Things just have nothing going our way. If you're somebody that works at Toyota, 
Stop putting rivets in cars, god damn it. Let's go compare the speakers. So as you guys can see, we are using Scar Audio T65 six and a half inch speakers. Now this is gonna be a great upgrade, especially since I am planning on amplifying the system with its separate amp. As you can see here, these are the old ones. These are just some, you know, basic car speakers that come with it, maybe max 15 watts, 20 watts. And we are going to uh, these bad boys right here, some Scar Audios. Heck yeah, and those are what, the T65s? Yep. Now the first thing I did do was I did get my little bracket here, as you can see. Now what you're gonna do with this to make it work with these six and a half inch speakers is you're gonna take these little nubs off. And when you're done with it, it should look like this. And all I did really was grab the bracket, grab any pair of pliers, and just yank on it, just like that. Just give it a little twist and they break off very easy. These are made, as you can see here, with little cutouts here that make it very easy for these little tabs come off and so that you can fit the appropriate size speakers. These brackets do fit multiple sizes, so if you do decide to go with something smaller, just look at the instructions on the packaging for these brackets and I'm sure you can find the sizing that fits your needs. As, as we did say, these will be in the description box below and I do recommend that you do six and a half speakers because that is the size that is gonna fit in there and it's gonna sound real nice. All right guys, so now um, after, um, getting your bracket situated by taking off the tabs you're gonna get the baggie with all the screws in it this is gonna come included with these brackets and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get like three of these like little weird nut looking things three washers and three of the screws and then we're gonna take one of these brackets and we're gonna get it installed in the vehicle first let's go you guys so next thing you're gonna do is you're just kind of gonna orientate this until all the holes line up for me it looks like it's gonna be right there so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get these screws you're gonna put put it in and then what what you're gonna do is behind it you're gonna go washer and then the nut and I'll show you guys in a second once I get this on here okay guys and then pretty much what I did behind there is like like I said I put the screw in behind that the washer just like this and then the nut screwed on just like that that's the orientation you're gonna want that in Heck yeah yep so you'll do the same thing I guess for the other two as well yep you'll do it for the other two and for right now just leave it loose so that way you can still like kind of move the other two around so it's gonna go there, washer, then nut. And once all three are in, that's when you're gonna tighten it down. Okay guys, now that we have this on there securely, you can see that there's two extra mounting tabs here. Now what I'm gonna do, now that I know that I'm not using those, is I'm just gonna break them off, just like that. Uh, you can use pliers too to break these off just like we did the other ones but now that they're off now it's going to ensure that when we put the door panel on it's not going to interfere so now next part of the install we're going to get our speakers and we're going to plug them in and then once all the rest of them are plugged in we're going to test it out so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our plug and play harnesses here and we're going to get our speaker here we're also going to get the other provided screws that were in the box which is going to be five of them for us we're going to take these over here with us okay so first thing you're going to do is you're going to ensure that don't tell me so unfortunately i did make a little bit of, mis of a mistake and i got the wrong part number for my application as you can see here so what i'm going to do real quickly just so that way my car doesn't freak out when there's no speaker in it i'm just going to cut this with enough length to where after when my the right adapters come in i can just solder in the old connector and do a proper wire repair now i will we will be linking the correct um part in the description box below we're going to double check just to make sure but you should be um getting the right ones in the mail if you do order from the link and make sure you buy from the link don't go and buy from someone else right yeah that's where i messed up i tried using amazon prime for free shipping and he ordered yeah. the wrong one yeah that that's yeah <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I have enough wire for me so later I can fix this, because like I said, I do want the factory connectors back in there. And then I'm just gonna use this because... So th this part, you guys aren't gonna have to worry about it when you get yours. <laughs> so when you do get your, um, your adapter harnesses, pretty much all you're gonna do is you're gonna connect one side. These are sides, so as you can see here, one is bigger, one is smaller, so you're gonna put the big one on the big one, small one on the small one. Okay, so you're gonna run the wires through just like that. Now once you have this, there's, have it lined up with the holes. What I like doing is I always like starting off with the top hole and screw it in. If you have smaller screws, 
um, go ahead and use those. I'm just using these just because that's what's provided in the box. As we said, I did mess up in ordering the harness for my own car, but I did order the right one. It's on the way. So at this point, you would connect your plug and play harness. But with me, like I said, I'm gonna solder it just for now. So if you guys did get that plug and play harness after connecting it, uh, you basically would just reinstall everything and be done and move on to the driver's side. So we're just gonna be showing you guys this process just in case you guys are gonna be cheap and do it this route as well. Yeah. <laughs> Except we didn't try to be cheap on purpose. Yeah, I, 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 I fucked up. It's okay, cause you know what? I, I know how to make things work eventually. <laughs> just, eventually. Yeah, I just wanted it to be easy for me, but you know, the universe, fate, what have you, didn't, didn't want life to be easy for me, I guess. It just said, Steve, you're going to suffer. And that's why he's suffering now. Yeah. No, I'm just going to guess polarity. Like I said, this isn't going to matter later, but I'm just going to say that's positive and the other one's negative. Damn. You guys can tell one is done. Now we're going to do the next one. Like we keep stating, this isn't going to be your process. Just Steve. It's my problem. I'm dealing up. with it. <laughs> so we're trying to repair his uh, problem. Yeah, which it's a good thing I'm a tech. This is what I do all day, every day, unfortunately. He's my teacher. I'm a bad teacher. Sometimes. All right, you guys, so now that the speaker's in with my little, you know, to make it work kind of thing, at this point, you do not want to put everything uh, back together. You want to test it first. So what I'm going to do is start the car, and I'm turn the radio. You guys won't hear what we're hearing because of, you know, copyright laws, but this is just for us testing and you're gonna want to do the same too. Hey guys now as you saw there it is working so now at this point that is where you're gonna put everything back together and we'll move on to the rear you guys at this point we're gonna put everything back together you're gonna connect these connectors here in the bottom again till they click give them a little pull make sure that they're in there and this like I said earlier it kind of like angles in hooks in the front and it just pops on just like that now what you're gonna do is you're gonna Bring it up and over the gasket that's here. Kind of set it in. Then once that's in, you can get it and clip it in. Get your screws, screw everything in. Those that you took out. I know, but I don't want to get Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Like, all right, you guys, now that you can hear me, um, you're going to notice here on this one, there are three hooks here. You are going to start there in that section. You're just going to kind of hook it first and then once that's hooked you can smack this on just like that and boom you have your door panel on how do you smack it like one that more time oh all right yep you know how to smack it no i don't what's <laughs> up i messed up just he's mad at me i'm pretty pissed <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're moving on to the rear. Now as you can see here, the rear door is very similar to the front. What's next? The other side. Same exact steps. Yeah. Go ahead and do that by yourself. Okay you guys, just like that, that is how you do upgrade your door speakers. Now we don't need this junk. Whoa. Right Jesse? Nope. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we are gonna uh, link everything down in the description as well as the correct harnesses as we stated. Like again, please don't think we ordered the wrong ones just willy nilly. It was my mistake. I ordered the wrong ones. We are gonna link the correct ones in the description box below along with um, Scar Audio products there if you wanna check them out. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> what is up you guys welcome to the video and uh, Do it again. what what is up you guys welcome back and welcome if you are new in today's video see yeah, you got yeah you know tell me i just watch enough videos oh you're Please 
please feel free to subscribe